We're in the village of Budinci. It's about 30 minutes from Dobridge. Uh, this uh, village is uh, quite quite big, actually a very quiet place. Uh, also about 48 minutes from Varna. I'm sitting in a property right now here. I'm standing in between two properties. This total square footage, square meters for this property is about 4,000 square meters. Of course, it can be sold separately. Um, consists of two buildings and they both need uh, thorough renovation. There is a little house here on this side that's it's in a livable condition. Um, while you're working on a project, this is a place where someone can stay. I'm just gonna get a little bit into the second property. There is no division in between, there is no fencing or anything. There is a septic tank. That right there is a septic tank, that pipe. And I'm just gonna zoom out to kind of... This is the smaller property, it's about 1600 square meters. And the fruit trees on this side, this is the, the, big, the bigger property. This is a very narrow, it goes back there about 2700 square meters, just about roughly. But the house definitely needs work. It was built in 1930. There was another structure to the side of this house that is has fallen down last week. It needs to be completely cleaned up. So let's walk inside. Let's see what's inside. Big crack in the wall here. Part of the structure is missing. Big crack under the window. So here's the structure, it's the livable one. And there's a room and a bathroom here. There's a bathroom here. We can see it, no, pretty dark. There is no electricity at the moment, but there is a room here, a small room with stove and place for a heating system. Well, some kind of a stove, wood stove. Mm -hmm. So that's the livable part. It also has a very nice basement very spacious basement and it's all built from stone here's the stone it's all stone which would make it very nice and cool in the summers in the hot summers okay, let's walk into the top level here of the house seems like there's been some kind of a renovation happening because uh, the planks are missing from the floor, and that's the basement underneath. Using it as a storage, the roof is in a very bad condition that completely needs to be redone. Everywhere, everywhere. And the structure is very old. I don't know, that could be a project. But for this price, the good thing about this property, so enough of the minuses, let's get to the pluses here. Anyone looking into agriculture, this land is a, um, I don't know what it's called, it's like, uh, it's black soil. And the uh, owners are quite proud of the produce that they make here, as far as tomatoes and the fruit garden and all that. So yeah. It's, I mean, for this price, you get, you get a lot, a lot of good land. And it's very big in a very quiet area. I'm gonna step outside just to, to show where the house is located as far as the main road. Just before I do that, I'm just kind of walking alongside of the buildings into the second property and the structures that are standing. This would be the neighbors over here on this side. There's a lot of apples. They are gathering from the fruit garden. 
we're coming onto the road here. This is like a drive-in. That's a drive-in for a vehicle. And this is the vines over here. 